And Packy Smith is still special, too. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're coming into you on this Monday morning sideways. We got Buck Davis going to be on here just shortly, all the way from Texas. A musician, we like musician, singer, songwriter. He's out there trying to make it. We'll uh, introduce you to him here shortly. Hope everybody is doing good. What is Harry doing? He's 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 tro he's trolling, trolling, trolling. Yeah, he's trolling. What does that mean? I mean, I, I'm not I'm not familiar with that other than fishing. Well, pretty much, he's hoping to get on the show. Oh, what, he's is mad he standing there? I call him is, a traitor. Is he standing there on the other side of the uh, window? He's got his little in? goofy looking hat on. Oh, good morning, Packy. Hey, good morning. How are you? Are, are you going to be on the show today, Harry? You just going to hang out, or are you just uh, you just going to lurk? Are you going to creep? Go he's creep a in the background. Yeah, he's a creeper. <laughs> he's a traitor. Why is he a traitor? What right. has he done now? He's supporting. Uh, he's supporting Biden. Wait a minute. That's not a traitor. Absolutely, it's a traitor. Absolutely. It just means he's got a different political persuasion, for God's sake. I yeah. think allowing an invasion on the southern border. I think that's, that's treason. Yeah, and then defunding the police. Yeah, defunding the police. Yeah, and 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 leaving our military men out and with no way to get home. Uh, we can just keep okay, going. Okay, so so I get that you don't like those policies. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Okay. But it's but, the, it's a matter uh, of opinion. You know, you see it. Yeah. There are a lot of people in the United States that like those things and are gonna vote for Biden. There's a lot of MPCs in our with TikTok brain in our country. Yeah, that, I think that's they're right. called traitors. I what, think they ought to be What's extra. an MPC? Non playing character. It's the people you run into in a video game that really are just like these, oh. you know, little robots that you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I, I think we need okay. to excommunicate them. Yep. What? See, that's what's wrong. <laughs> what's wrong? That's not just what's wrong. That's what's because, wrong. Just because they're voting for someone you don't like doesn't make them traitors. I'm not that. I'm just the fact that we've got this young lady down here in Athens that lost her life, and we've got all these uh, police officers that's losing their lives. So we got uh, we got the border open with all these people coming in trying to kill us. That's what I'm against. What about well, you, I, Harry? So am I. Are you okay with that, <laughs> Harry? He ain't gonna say anything. He ain't got nothing to say. Oh man! What? The, I, they're not traitors. They're different. They have different opinions. That's all. Everybody is allowed to have their opinion. That's what's needed. Even Hitler, America. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Even Hitler. Okay. Even. I'm gonna tell you, if Harry did have that little mustache, he yeah. would favor him. No kidding. Mm. Yeah. 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 Hey, as a matter of fact, this day in history, Hitler was uh, put in jail for inciting riots, the Push Hall uh, uh, or riots, right? That wasn't a riot. Uh, he that served was five a, years. It's so a peaceful a protest. protest. It's a peaceful protest. <laughs> There's no precedent for having leaders who are convicts. Peaceful protest. Yeah, peaceful protest. That's right. Good grief. That is interesting since that's the one book that we all know that uh, Trump has read was Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. He, that was his playbook. So, yeah, that is interesting. You got, proof on, that? Or you got proof on that? Yeah. You got proof on that? Are you spreading that? misinformation? Misinformation, misinformation yeah. See, you don't ever Wait bring up the T word, uh, Patrick, because. Um, Harry. Mm, Harry. Yeah. Not, you took the bait. Yeah. Don't. I know. Don't take the bait. Why? Oh, no. How could you support? Go home. How could you support? How could you support? I don't. You do. You su you support the. <clears throat> never mind. But you see, I you support never closed discuss. borders. I support uh, yeah. funding the police officers. Mm -hmm. I report uh, support putting people in jail and keeping them there, or electrocuting uh, them, or killing okay. them if they do stuff like they're Ooh. doing. Ooh. I support that. <laughs> you and you support corruption, and you support. Oh, you know, that's why I'm voting against dictators. Biden. Yeah. Oh, okay. You'd rather have a dictator. We got yeah. a dictator. No, we don't. How do you <laughs> figure that? I mean, honestly. I, I'm actually with Harry on this one. I think he's way too stupid to be a dictator. <laughs> I don't think he's smart enough to be a dictator. Well, but he's being dictated. I, I, somebody's I, telling him what to do. Yeah, somebody's telling him what to do. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll 
somebody was telling Trump what to do. We know who that was. Who? Putin. Are oh you gosh. kidding me? That ain't even... <laughs> I believe it was Hillary Clinton that started that, was it not? <laughs> Was that not Hillary Clinton? Did that not I mean, all come back? To if Trump? you're going to say that, Harry, no, give, no, give, it, give us the no give other, us the proof that 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 that, that, that no, happened. No give us the proof that that happened. Give no us proof. other president has had private meetings with a dictator with nobody else present. Uh, Trump and Putin met with nobody. He had no witnesses whatsoever to oh. what, what they talked about. Are you, okay, so are you, so you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, hey, why not? No, give you us are. the proof. No, you <laughs> said you said so. You said he's a dictator, and you said yeah. that. So what is your proof of that? What is your proof that Putin was telling him what to do? Yeah. I'd love for you to tell me. You'd love for me to tell Okay. Uh, All right. All right. I'll let that one go. No, don't let it go. Yeah. Just put it out there, son. All right. Are you just going to spread so, information on our, on our radio station, Harry? Like you do. Like you do. Give me an example. Yeah, yeah. Give me an example of that. Of, of y'all doing that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, uh, let me see. You have called uh, Biden uh, demented. He has dementia. Yeah. Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. There's my Proof. fact check, right? That was good. That was good. And, and but I know you're just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Yeah. But uh, you don't have um, any sound what bites. What am I doing here? <laughs> you don't have any sound bites of Trump's words. But I tell you what, you? I don't know about you. Yeah. But I'm going yeah. to folks, go to bed. Folks, if you just tune in. Where's 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 Trump's word salad? You just I got you. Right, here's Trump's. Morning here's Trump's right here. I got you right here. Hang on. Oh, the here you go. Elementary school playground. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. What an insurrectionist. Ah, oh, I don't understand a word of I that. I said did word you? salad, like when he <laughs> called his wife by the wrong name. Uh, yeah, you don't have those cuts, do you? Uh, oh, no. man. No, that's okay. We got to get to a break. We got a young man from Texas coming on here and uh, anxious to talk to him always. Uh, I like supporting these singer-songwriters. So uh, let's jump to a break right quick. We want to thank more insurance services, 828-389-4000. And if you are uh, supporting Biden, just remember that Harry Vaughn is too. So that's kind of the boat that you're in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, birds of a feather flock together. And I'm helping you with your right. <laughs> yes, no doubt. We'll be right back. And now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. Clay County Superintendent Melissa Godfrey is confirming that the Board of Education is very close to awarding a construction bid for the building of the new 6th through 8th middle school wing. We have not officially gone into contract, but we've done an intent to award so we can negotiate and try to um, create some cost savings. We don't have quite enough to build the 3-5 wing at this time, so we're trying to save money where we can without compromising quality. Godfrey, the Board of Education and Board of Commissioners were just recently presented a $12 million grant from the state for the construction of the 6th through 8th additions and support buildings. A total of $52 million, in fact, has been earmarked over the last two years, though it will take a little more money to get an elementary wing built. Godfrey says she's optimistic it will be funded eventually, if for no other reason, because of the relationship clay leaders have with our state delegation. And one of the things that they commented on when they came was that it was easy to support Clay County because of the way our boards work together, our board of commissioners and our, our school board. And the supporters of the Clay County Veterans Memorial Park are holding one more fundraiser before ground is broken this month. The commissioners uh, and the architect and all those working with that have come up with a, a beautiful design, a wonderful design that is really going to look good down there and be good representation for veterans for Clay County. That's Robert Siebert. Please download the free WJRB app for Pat Malone and Harry Bond. I'm Jeff Patton. If you've been injured, you don't need to go to Atlanta or Gainesville to find a lawyer. The law office of Daniel Duello specializes in accident cases and is based in Blairsville. I used to defend insurance companies and saw their attempts to pay less through pressure and delays. Now I want to use that experience to help you get treated fairly. Just search for Daniel Duello or call 706-603-3036 and I'll see you in Blairsville. It's 706-603-3036. Hey, Mom and Dad, it's me. I need you to know something about vaping marijuana. It's not as harmless as it seems. It can affect my developing brain, lead to addiction, and impact my future. I can easily hide it from you. And yeah, the kids in my school are vaping. So please, let's talk openly about it. Your support means everything. Parents, it's time to have that conversation. Vaping marijuana can have serious health consequences. Let's keep our teens safe and informed. Brought to you by Union County Community Prevention Alliance Work Group and the Drug-Free Communities Grant. 
Union County Recreation Department offers activities for all ages. Put on your walking shoes and enjoy the many miles of walking trails at Meeks Park or enjoy some playground time with the kids. Don't forget about the two dog parks we have. There's one by the Senior Center and one at our Farmer's Market. There's something for everyone. Pickleball, tennis, swimming pool with splash pad, and if golf is your game, check out Butternut Creek Golf Course and the View Grill for lunch. Call 706-439-6074 or visit us on Facebook at Union County Recreation Department. Property values are increasing, so why not protect your biggest investment, your home, with a Green Tree metal roof? Obviously, a metal roof is stronger and longer lasting than shingles, but Green Tree Metals uses the cool chemistry AXO Nobel paint system that comes with a lifetime film integrity warranty against cracking and peeling. Learn why you should ask your contractor to install a Green Tree Metal roof at GreenTreeMetals.com. Green Tree Metal, coolest roof around. Meet Sam and Sally, your regular everyday squirrel couple looking to upgrade their nest this spring. Sam, our current tree is so last season. We need more storage for all these acorns. Sally, that's why we're turning to Mountain Realty in Hiawassee. They know all the best nests and all the best trees. Oh, yeah. Acorn equity, here we come. Visit mountainrealty.com because even squirrels know that the right realtor makes all the difference. Mountain Realty agents and staff do not claim to actually talk to squirrels. Acorns cannot be used as cash. We are not crazy. Linda, I've got to take extra time for lunch to grab my supplements. I wish I could go before work. Actually, you can. Did you hear s and Smoothies and Supplements in Blairsville is now open at 6 a.m.? 6? In the morning? Yep, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. weekdays. It's perfect for hospital workers, teachers, or anyone who has to be at work early or stay late. And s and Smoothies has tons of new products, smoothie flavors, and more. One other thing, they're now open until 8 Saturday, too, at the Merchant's Walk in Blairsville. The Morning Dish! At the beginning of a new week, people see things differently. Like why they're locked into their monster insurance carrier and paying higher premiums than their next door neighbor. If that's you, you need to speak with more insurance services and independent agency in Hayesville, Blairsville, and Hiawassee. All righty, folks. I think you got the button mash pudding? Yeah, it's okay, ready to we go. Got it. <laughs> we got it mash. We got Eli Buck Davis on with us this morning. Good morning, sunshine. Morning, how are y'all? Man, we're doing good. What part of Texas are you in this morning? I'm in Bartlett, Texas, just north of Austin. Okay. Boy, it looks nice right out 35. there. What's the weather yeah. like? Yeah. It's not too bad. Let me know if the wind gets too much for you and I can go back inside. But uh, No. It's just kind of kind of gloomy this morning, but it's wide open spaces. And that's my uh, 26-foot camper right there we're crashing in. Oh, there you go. So how but, you been, uh, man? Yeah. How you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. Folks, we're talking. And I'm gonna spell it. It's E L E Y Buck Davis.com if you want to check this young man out. Uh singer songwriter, which I love, absolutely love. Singer songwriters out there trying to make it. And uh he's got a new song which is I thought was really cool. Uh what is it called? Pay my pay my grocery bill. Oh, yeah, grocery bill. Grocery bill. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you something. That kind of, to me, I'm a huge John Prine fan, and that's kind of got a John Prine fan. Are you, uh, a, a, <laughs> you know, it's kind of got that sound of John Prine. Do you yeah. Like well, I take that as a compliment because I love John Prine, so. Yeah, that's got a cool cool beat to it. How did that song come about? Uh, Man, basically just uh, when I met my wife, I, I just quit my, my full-time day job at a warehouse or I, I put in my two weeks notice and I met her a couple of days later and I was thinking, you know, I wasn't really planning on taking someone out on dates and spending all this money. You know, I was, uh, I had kind of a budget set up for just being a singer songwriter, you know? And, uh, but, uh, I told her, I was like, Hey, if you know, how about we just split the grocery bill and we can make this work, you know? Uh, and, uh, that doesn't sound too romantic, but it definitely worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> the song sounds better than the way I put it. Hey, that's a cool song, no doubt. Like I said, I, I you know when you were singing it, I can I can actually it's got that John Prine feel. I love John Prine, I really do. And uh, well, and I feel like a lot of people can kind of relate to, it, especially in today's times, you know, with the economy and everything. And uh, Eli, did you slip a little political commentary in there when you talked about uh, the the cost of living? No, I mean, not purposely. Uh, I don't, I think some people took it that way. Yeah, you know, yeah. And they, they I kind of got very, very they cool. Kinda, 
some people got offended and I was like, I don't understand why that's such a political thing. You know, it's a, it, the prices are high, Yeah, you know, you got, it. <laughs> you got it. I don't think that's news to anybody, but apparently it is to some, I don't know. I yeah. won't go into that though. There you go. <laughs> Sheesh. I never thought bologna would cost as much as a T-bone steak, but here we are. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. Well, I'm eating bologna. I'm eating high on the hog now. Yep. Eating high yeah. on the hog. So now we're, you was you were raised in Texas, but you actually you you moved to to Nashville for a while. Tell us about that. Yeah, uh, I was living in I was going to school in Arkansas, uh, in southeast Arkansas, and it was only about a four hour drive from Nashville. And me and a buddy decided to go up there just for fun one weekend, and uh, I just kind of fell in love with the city. Right. And uh, and anyway, I decided after I finished college, I was going to move up there, and uh, and get a day job and try to do the songwriting thing. I wasn't really intended on performing because uh, I that just wasn't in my my plan at first. And then I started playing those songwriter rounds there, and uh, kind of got hooked on that. Uh, so then I I kind of started my performing there, which is kind of bizarre because I never played in front of anybody before. So it was uh, it, I don't know if it was bold or stupid, but <laughs> well, you got to get up to start and go. your performance in mm-hmm. Nashville. Yeah, you got to get out there and go. Now you still do some of the songwriter rounds. You're kind of involved in that out there in Texas, right? Yeah. Now, now I'm running them here in uh, Central Texas. Uh, I've got one at uh, Wilson Valley Mercantile. It's in Little River Academy. It's uh, just south of Temple, Texas. And then I've got one towards Bastrop, Texas, uh, in Elgin. Uh, it's called the Liberty, Liberty Tree Tavern. And uh, it's it's a really neat place. But anyway, I'm doing one on Wednesday night, one on Thursday night, first and third Wednesdays and Thursdays of every month. And I invite a different guest every time, and and we just swap songs basically, and and tell stories about the songs. I love the songwriter rounds. I do. I like that the listening rooms yeah. and that kind of stuff. That's just more personal. I like to hear the background on the songs. You know, I mean, where do they come from, and what inspired exactly. you to write them? You know, but uh, that's pretty cool. Now, this I was reading out here. Uh, uh, the grocery bill earned an outstanding achievement. Uh oh, and my thing just outstanding achievement. Where did it go? In songwriter for 24, 20, 24th annual Great American Songwriter Contest. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's I've entered those things my whole life, and that was the first one I heard back from. So I was pretty proud of that. Yeah. Which it's kind of part of the reason I decided to make a record kind of based around the that song and 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 put that out as a single as well. You know. Uh, getting that recognition, I was like, well, maybe I ought to put this one out first, you know. Folks, we're talking to Eli, but I'm saying that right, right? E L E Y. It's uh, it's it's actually Ely, Ely. kind of like Joe Ely. Okay, it's just spelt weird. Yeah. Well, I'm from down south, so it's Eli. But anyway, Ely E L E Y <laughs> Buck Davis dot com. Y'all can go follow all the stuff. He's got his store. You can actually buy his albums. Now, how many albums you got released so far? Um, I've got. One LP and I've, I've got three EPs. Right. And uh, I'm working on this. This uh, grocery bill is is the first single off the next LP. It'll have seven songs on there. It's kind of hard to nowadays to release an LP or 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 just individual yeah. songs because of the way things are going. You know, used to back in the fifties, you just released singles and then it went to albums. And now I think we're back to the fifties again, where you just release. Yeah. And and it makes it hard on a musician when you're doing live shows. Cause it, you don't have anything to really sell when it comes to music. I mean, other than thumb drives, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, back then they were actually printing those singles on those little 45s, you know? Right. And it's like, I'm not going to, I can't spend the money or don't have the money to do that. You know, we're making a CD for a single Of course. I mean, we have digital, services obviously uh but yeah you definitely don't have any merch until you get your full project finished you know right so now are you doing music full-time now yes sir wow. yeah i play four to five nights a week this is my first night off or first day off wow uh i've been playing since last tuesday i think tuesday or wednesday well you must be doing pretty good because that's a nice camper <laughs> oh yeah, well, I actually just traded in my old one here. Yeah. I can show you a little. It's only a 26-footer, yeah. but it's got a couple of slide outs. Oh, yeah. We just added this addition here, this uh, storage building. We're going to turn that into my wife's art studio, and I'm, I'll have a little bit of – I might have a corner in there. I can play some music in or something. No, you won't. 
<laughs> well, they call him she sheds now. Yeah, it's over with. Yeah. Yeah. So how, when you hook that trailer up to move, how do you just drag that little old building behind you or something? You got wheels on it too or what? Well, th this is kind of a somewhat of a permanent spot for now. Right. Uh, this is, this property is a, uh, kind of a friend of friends of uh or family friends of my wife's right. uh mother and stepdaddy mm -hmm. and uh i pretty much if i have a day job it's it's kind of the groundskeeper here and i help them rake hay and uh haul hay in the in hay season and and then keep the grass mowed and weedies and all that kind of stuff you know so i normally do that kind of stuff you know keep monday and tuesday Right. What's up? I didn't see any junk cars sitting in your yard. You ain't got no junk cars sitting in your yard? No. There are some out in the pasture, though. <laughs> okay. uh, it, I'd, have to, I'd have to hop on the four-wheeler to show you those. <laughs> yeah, that's a little, that's a little different country, isn't it, Buck, from where yeah. you were raised? You were, yeah, you were raised I'm, in East Texas? Yeah, this is pretty uh, wide open. Where, where I'm from is a little more closed in in the Piney Woods of East Texas. Yeah, you're and, right, right next to Louisiana there on that on the yes, border. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, I tell people I didn't know I was a Texan until I moved out of Texas. And people started <laughs> calling me Texan, you know, because we were so close to Louisiana. I saw more Louisiana license plates than than Texas license plate, and uh, a lot of our food and culture has a little bit of cajun influence oh man you yeah, know you were, you were just west of shreveport there right yes sir yeah yeah in fact we did most of our shopping in louisiana we had to go to louisiana for uh for adult beverages uh because <laughs> on my side of the border it was dry now yeah. it's now it's damp as they say it's not quite wet yet but you can get you know beer and wine but my dad go. called it uh damp damp, damp yeah <laughs> i don't know man i'd be crazy to live that close i love cajun food man I love oh it. yeah, and I just that is pretty, yeah. pretty country there too, with all the piney forests. Oh yeah, that's the only crazy, yeah. crazy things. My wife is from the same area, but we met here in Austin. Right. Uh -huh. She didn't quite grow. She didn't quite grow up the same way I did. So I grew up eating squirrel and and raccoon and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, so I've slowly kind of, you know. Started putting stuff in the crop box, not telling her what it was. There you go. She's like, Ooh, I like you know? She likes the basics, you know, the fried fish, fried frog legs and stuff. But some of the stuff, she's like, yeah, I just can't do this, you know. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of like Dylan. If, it tastes this, if I tasted this good, I'd eat myself. So, yeah. Yeah, if you get it in a crock pot, man, I can get it. I can get it on a plate. I'm yeah. good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> Lord, so now these uh these let me ask you another question before we go because I'm about to run out of time. You do these uh songs in the round. Is that is that streamed anywhere that anybody could follow this? Yes, uh, one of them is the Wednesday night one. It's uh it's an old school honky tonk. They still smoke in there. That one uh no it's not kidding. streamed. <laughs> they still yeah, it's, smoke. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, <laughs> And the crowd's just really good there. They're uh, they're there for the music. They're not, you know, it's not a sports bar or anything. It's a music venue. Right. And uh, but, but the second place, the one I do on Thursday nights, it's a brand new distillery, and uh, he's got the whole uh, live stream set up, and so you can view that on their YouTube page or their Facebook, and it's Wilson Valley Mercantile Wilson. out of Little River Academy. Wilson Valley, Mer Valley Mercantile. Okay, and that's on yes. Wednesday nights. No, that that one's on Thursday night. Thursday night, so we'll be getting yep. okay. We need to follow that. Yep, we need to follow that definitely. And uh, anyway, Eli, uh, e l e y buck davis dot com. Go check it out. Check out this new song he's got out. Uh, grocery bill, man, that, that hits pretty close to home because, man, I know how it is setting up there at the grocery, uh, getting your groceries, and you have to start putting stuff yeah. back. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you know, and I, I always, I, you know, it's always the. Mayonnaise. I always have to lift the mayonnaise back. I mean, how do you live without Duke mayonnaise? You know? Well, and the off brand's not worth keeping. I'm we. Y'all got Duke mayonnaise out in Texas? Yeah, okay. we just got it. Uh, Hellman's has been the biggest thing for the longest time, but Duke's is a, is getting popular around here now. Oh man, they ain't no such. Even thing. my dad switched to it. My dad doesn't switch anything. He's dipped the same snuff for sixty years or seventy years, however long he's been. But uh. He just switched mayonnaise, and I was pretty shocked. He's like, you, have you tried this Duke's? I'm like, telling you. Yeah. That's where it's at. 
<laughs> yeah, us folks down here in the South, man, y'all catch on for it's over with out there. I know everything's bigger and better in Texas, but we got Duke mayonnaise and we got moon pies. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good to do go. Do y'all have do y'all have uh cookout the the uh fast food restaurant? There are a few starting here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I miss about Nashville. They had that cookout there and I think they had them in North Carolina and a few other places, but I yeah. wish we had that down here. And w- I've actually seen uh, what you, uh, what's the te- big Texas thing out there? What water burger? Water burgers? Yeah, water burger. Yeah, we're well, it's what a burger, but we say water burger. Yeah, that's what we <laughs> do. They, we used to have a place here, okay. in, in, uh, just a locally owned place in Cleveland that was water burger, and that's where we everybody always stopped at water burger. I mean, it was like I mean, it's like the the burger is just doused in grease. It's like the best thing in the world. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, man, we appreciate your time, brother, and we're gonna t- tune in to you appreciate on Thursday you night. Me. Yeah, have you back anytime, man. I love it. And E L E Y, say Ellie, Ellie Buck Davis. It's a uh, Ely, 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 Ely yes, Buck sir. Davis. And uh, I think y'all gonna enjoy his stuff. And y'all, no doubt, he's got some uh, a lot of stuff going on. He does the songwriter stuff. You can get that on Thursday night if you go to his website. He'll take you to a lot of that stuff, plus his Facebook page and all that. Give him some support. Go to the store, buy his albums, buy a t shirt. And uh, help this young man because this is a singer songwriter out trying to make it on his own, and it's uh, it's a rough road to hoe, as we say. Yeah, it's fun though. Yeah, it's fun, <laughs> no doubt. Man, we appreciate you. Yep, so much. All right, thank y'all. All right, man. Y'all have a good one. All right, we're gonna jump to a quick break. We want to thank more insurance services, and we will be right back. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. In Hiawassee, you can find more insurance services on Main Street. Call 706-896-6172 for a fast and accurate quote. Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Now offering new RVs and boats from top brands like Grand Design, Rockwood, Cedar Creek, Godfrey Pontoons, Hurricane Deck Boats, Monterey Bow Riders, Robalo Center Consoles, and more. Now offering a closeout sale on all 2023 boats and RVs. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the largest service center and parts and accessories selection in the area, so there's no reason to leave the mountains. Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Located at 3676 Highway 76 or online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! When it comes to metalwork in Hayesville, trust TB Fabrications. Our professional welders are your solution for gates, handrails, boat dock repairs, and even pontoon repair. With over a decade of welding experience, we're your reliable choice whether we come to you or you visit our shop. That's right, we are completely mobile and ready to come to your location to make welding repairs to structures, handrails, heavy equipment, gates, you name it. Search TB Fabrications on Facebook or call us at 706-897-8930 today. It's time now to honor the Prep Athlete of the Week. Brought to you by Ware Chevrolet in Blairsville. Supporting the champions of tomorrow from the five-county area. We're getting pretty close to the end of the girls' soccer season, and the Towns County Lady Indians are primed for a playoff run. They beat Lincoln County 3 to nothing last week, Banks County 7 to nothing. Abby Gardella was one of the stars. She had three goals and a pair of assists as the Indians look to stay hot going into the playoffs. Congratulations to Abby Gardella of Towns County, the Ware Chevrolet Athlete of the Week. No matter what the season, Ivy Log Meat Processing in Blairsville is now ready to serve our fellow hunters and farmers in the North Georgia and Tri-State area. Come by Ivy Log for the best beef ribeyes, Wagyu, pork chops, and sausage, along with in-house homemade bacon. 706-745-0011 or visit IvyLogMeatProcessing.com. Ivy Log Meat Processing on Facebook, too. 6310 Murphy Highway in Blairsville. You hear it, and you can't find it. No, not your phone. We're talking about the leak near your spigot or somewhere else in the yard. Meanwhile, your $50 water bill is now $500. Grayland Leak Detection will find the leak. Grayland has the specialized equipment to find it and make the necessary repairs at a fraction of the cost of replacing your whole water system. Call Eric locally at Grayland, 706-897-9110, 706-897-9110, and find that leak once and for all. The Morning Dish! You can't blame Stephen Phillips for your business insurance going up 25% this year, but you can still do something about it. Business owners, you need to talk business with more insurance services. Your Mountain Insurance Agency in Hayesville, Blairsville, and Hiawassee. 
All righty, folks, we're back with you. Hope everybody's doing good. So uh, this is, uh, I guess, April, 1st of April. Everybody does the April Fool stuff or whatever. That's it. Yep. 1st of April. And we had ours on this morning. He's checked out before we got to the interview, so I guess we're covered for our April Fool's joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe he took the bait. Well, I didn't mean he come in there and jump on me first thing. Well, did you celebrate Transgender Day or Transgender Visibility Day? I'm like, are you kidding me? He asked you that. Yeah. But did you? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just asking. Him. <laughs> I mean, come on. You huh? see that thing where they put on the glasses, like celebrating Transgender Visibility Day? It's like put on the glasses like uh, Michael Obama. You know, it turns into Michael Obama. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's Trans Day of Visibility. They Biden recognized it. They said he banned children from submitting religious themed eggs at the egg hunt. I mean, you know what? And I mean, and he's supporting this guy honestly. And they say, oh, this transgender day thing has been around for years. But I mean, why even? Why even mention it? I mean, you know, they did it just to spit in somebody's eye. I feel like on making it the day. Of Easter, of course, Easter kind of moves around, but you know, I think they had a a plan for it to hit on Easter. But uh, but why recognize it? I mean, less than one percent of Americans are transgender, according to what I read. Is that right? Well, that I, is right. Look at me, that man. Is correct. What less than? Why even? I mean, and how do we even? I mean, got less than one percent. How do we even get a transgender day to begin with? They're very vocal. So we just. I mean, you don't just. Squeaky wheel, right? Gets the grease. Yeah, and, you know, part of that is that they listen to your show and you talk about that all the time. What so. about the rotten apple gets kicked out of the bucket or something like that? Who we got, Pud? Yeah. Uh, we got Chad this morning. Chad! Hey, good morning, guys. How are you, brother? Good, since you're such advocates for the transgender movement. Oh, I shut am. up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, here you go. Uh, what is a transgender? Nah, be, be nice. Go ahead and get ready. <laughs> this, this, this came from my daughter. It's innocent. Okay. What, what, what is a transgender horse eat for breakfast? I have no idea. Hey. <laughs> That's not nice. Oh, God. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. All right, Chad, I got one for you, okay? What's, oh, this is going to be good. What's Michael Jack? <laughs> What's Michael Jackson's preferred pronouns? Uh, I have no idea. Hee <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. We're oh, off of YouTube, Lord. folks. It's been fun while I'll ask you, but it's done now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, All right man. You guys have a good day and a splendid week. All right, man. Thanks, we appreciate Chad. you. Thanks, guys. You should know, man, when a guy named Chad calls in and says, I got a joke for you about transgender, you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, gosh. But well, I tell you what, I don't know about you, well, that was supposed to be but the I'm beat. going to go to bed. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear he's raising his daughter right. So, anyway, yeah. good with that. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, it's kind of sad to where we're at in this world and why we supported an organization, uh, and I'm going to call it an organization, like, the Biden administration. I'm with you. It's. I think it's traitorous. Pat Malone doesn't agree with that, but I do think that allowing an invasion on the southern border, allowing the the drugs and stuff, allowing the people, allowing the the sex trafficking, the the invasion of military aged men allowing into this country, China to is, control America, is allowing balloons to fly across. I mean, that, it's yeah. all traitorous. It is traitorous so. activity, and it is in the pocket. I, they're oh. in the pockets of other countries, Pat. And it is traitorous. And what are we supposed to do with traitors? Well, well now wait a minute. I do. I don't disagree with that. So no, you, you know, did don't, earlier. You said no, it's not traitorous just because they disagree. I That's what you said. Lump, don't lump me in. I don't think you're a traitor if you support that uh, administration. People who support traitors are traitors. traitors. Yeah, I think so. I mean, no. if I'm in a car with a guy and he outruns yes. a cop, I'm in. I, I get charged just like the guy on the driver's side does for aiding and abetting. So, so if if your kid becomes a criminal, are you? I think I'd have a little bit of something to do if with If you it. help him rob the bank, then you're a criminal. Yes. Yeah, if you drive the getaway yeah, well, car. Yeah, of course. Okay, what of about course. this girl that got killed in Athens down there from 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 uh, an illegal alien? or Lincoln it? Rally? Yeah, yeah. What about yeah, her? What do you call you don't her? think the Biden administration's got I don't, blood? I don't you don't think, think they got blood Lincoln. on their hands? I, that was a joke, Pat. That was sarcasm. Okay. You don't, you don't think the Biden administration's got blood on their hands? Of course I do. So, okay. So why is that? How do you figure that 
and everybody that supports the Biden administration I, don't have blood on their hands. I just think that it's a free country and you're allowed to support whatever you feel is best. When you support people that try to kill Americans and take over America and 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 oh, that's the that's the whole that's point not, of this country is not to have it's not to have the government dictating to the people what they should and should not think. Okay. You got to you, you got to get past this idea that you know the other side is evil. It's not well, evil. Well, help me it's get by different. that. Explain to me how explain to me how I get by that. Explain to me how they're not I don't evil. Know, I don't I don't know in your case cuz you're all you talk about is orange man bad. That's all you, you, that's all you talk I mean, about. Tell is me how they're orange not man evil. evil. They're killing babies as hard as they can. I don't care what to call, call murder. And we actually got now I don't I know think, if they, I, I would think this group here actually we had a trailer of Bibles, a whole trailer of Bibles intentionally set on fire in front of a Tennessee church on Easter Sunday. I mean, is that not to me? I, there are there are evil people in the world, no question about that. There have to be because it, without evil people, there wouldn't be any good. They ain't no good. They're evil. Made no I, sense. You saying there aren't any good people in the world? There's good people in the world. We're voting for Trump. <laughs> good people. I don't necessarily think that there is no. No good without evil, though. Nah, that's I don't. Like I don't think so. Well, yeah, I don't. What, what do you call it? If there's no evil, if there's no comparative, if there's no yin and yang. What is it called? So before Satan and the fall of the angels, was there evil? The fall of the angels happened at the same time as creation happened, didn't it? Well, we're asking you. I mean, there was a time when there was no evil, right? Well, uh, I. I don't think so. Well, okay. Not I don't know this for the creation of the world. This uh this dude these guys or girls or whatever it is, they burn a trailer full of Bibles at the uh in front of a Tennessee church on Easter Sunday. And you know, they're gonna have to answer for this, not me. I'm glad it's them and not me. I just think that's sad. Do you not? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Is that a hate crime, with... Pat? But why do how come they can attack the Christian but you can't I mean, if you say anything about anybody else, it's what it is. If it was a rainbow flag in front of a, an Wait abortion a clinic, then it would be like I'm the biggest hate prison. crime of the <laughs> what's, what's the attack that you use on, on atheists, people who don't believe in anything? Oh, they believe. They don't believe in anything. Well, there's two kinds of, what do you, what do you always say? There's two kinds of people who believe in God. That's uh, Christians and dead atheists. And it's coming, man. That eclipse. I've been studying up on that eclipse. You better, you better get your prayers oh, in. Geez. You better get your prayers in. It's all lining up. You're, you're like a Neanderthal. I, man. <laughs> I am Neanderthal, and they're trying to. They're going to do that. To, they're trying to find that God thing. What is it where the scientists are going to? Oh, the God particle. God. Yeah, they're going to do that on that day. They're actually going to try to find the God part. That's when they're going to fire that thing. And and there's a good there's a good possibility they that we all going to find it. You don't think that's true? Have you read anything about that, Pat? No. Man, it's it's pretty it's pretty convincing, man. When you look at all the evidence, of course we don't need to look at evidence because you know unless the government tells us you know it good or bad, but yeah, the that's, evidence is pretty know, strong. What what you call evidence, other people are calling made up. Well, that's on fiction. The, that's the Biden administration over there. Yeah. yeah, like the yeah. insurrection of sixth. Uh, that's the, that's that's yeah. the traitors. We're <laughs> we're the patriots. Those are the traitors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just I I need a scorecard to keep up with you. You know, so I can tell the the traitors from the the good guys. I just don't I just don't understand how anybody could support a administration that is so much against good and. I don't. It don't makes no sense to me. I mean, they're against the police. They're they want to defund the police. They're against closing the border. They're against. I mean, I don't. How explain well, to me? You that. don't. You don't understand a lot of things, Stephen. You don't understand how somebody could not believe in God, right? You don't understand how somebody could be think it's cool to be a transgender, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty much. And there are those people out there. So what are we gonna do with them, man? They're getting to. 
What are we going to do? Well, why don't we? I, I got an idea. Uh, I got an idea. Why don't we leave them alone? Well, they ain't leaving me alone. If they leave me alone, I'd leave them alone. I, 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 what are the transgenders sitting on your porch? Well, they sit there and, and on, on Easter Sunday, they try to make it the day of transgender. They take the rainbow. The rainbow. I, I take the okay, rainbow. Okay, I give you the they same. Take the, the, I give you the same. I give you the same advice I give Harry. Ignore it. That's the Ign- problem. Ignoring That's things the does problem. not make right there. Yeah. That's the problem. That that is not the you problem. Cannot that, the only reason it. they're doing that is to get attention to get people like you to get upset over it. Okay, so why are they leaving the border open? Do we just ignore that too? Are they okay, just doing it to make us question. upset, Pat? Do we just ignore I that problem I too. Didn't say, yeah. I didn't say ignore that. Yeah, and you think that like a state patrol should ignore that people's just speeding down the highway? I'll just ignore that. It's okay. He's running 110 or 55. Well, just ignore it. On, It'll be all right. Based on, based on Interstate 85 yesterday, they are already doing that. Yeah, just ignore it, folks. It was like, just it was ignore like it. So, Pat, which problems do we ignore and which ones do we just yeah. do we fix? So, like, where, where do you draw the line on what, you know? Uh, people's personal choices that don't impact me. I, I, just, I'm good fine. with that. Let if them, they would quit it. pushing it in my face and taking over the kids and trying to make get them your and, face out of it. And every time and you turn on a, every face. time you turn on a, a TV show, it's got some kind of, don't turn it on. Watch video in there. And, well, no, you're talking about like that book. It's a perfect example. It's perfectly normal. So like, you know, that's what well, we just ignore it. You know what I mean? Cause it has nothing to do with us. And, you know, like, but there are a lot of schools where they are pushing it in, in the schools. Just ignore it. Pat. Just ignore it. Just okay, ignore no, it. Wait, wait. Well, okay. Here's a good example. Okay. Are they doing that in union County schools? I said books. There are places where are they, they do. Are that. they doing it in Union County schools? No, they're not. As far as I, I mean, know, I don't know. Are they? You're like you're like uh, uh, these politicians now today are are taking national issues. They're running for local offices and they're running on national yeah, issues. But you, but hang, uh, you always say that no though, Pat. You had a, you had a candidate on here the other day and it was talking about you know having illegals cross the border. And you said, well, you know, they were running for I think it was was a Dick Mills, I think, right? And you were like, well, how does how do we even do anything about that? Right. And you always right. say, well, these are national right. issues. They don't matter. Well, let me ask you this, Pat. Who decides if, if it's going to be a sanctuary state? Who decides that? If a state is a sanctuary uh, state, who decides that? I guess the legislature. The state legislature. Yeah. So, yes, there are okay. local issues that okay. are that uh, can. It, and is, that's is where the candidates come. Is anybody in the Georgia General Assembly proposing that Georgia become a sanctuary Not state? Not yet, but uh, it's coming, man. But here's the thing, man. You talk about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But you're, 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 you're bitching about a problem that hasn't occurred yet in our area. That's okay. how you prevent problems, Pat. Well, here you keep worrying you about wait. our area. Uh, we got Atlanta. They're, they're flooding that in there. Atlanta carries the vote in Georgia pretty much every time we go to the polls. And our two senators who are <coughs> illegally elected um, are uh, <laughs> Democrats. Honestly. It's coming, Pat. Yeah. You may not like it, but that's, it's going to be here. Oh, we got somebody. the majority we of got the voters somebody. are in Atlanta. Who we got? Uh, we got Steve this morning. Hey, Steve. Be nice, Steve. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? So far, not so good. Well, this is only comments a while ago about evil and good and evil. Yeah. I've heard it described before that evil is the absence of the presence of God. There you go. I, 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 there, there, God did not create, God created all things. He did not create evil, but evil exists in men's hearts because they kicked God out. Hi, Pat. you got to say something hateful about that. Let's hear it. Well, uh, he just said God created all things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but didn't mm-hmm. create evil, except right. except evil. Do what now? God created all things except evil. God gave us free will, Pat. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. we need to go. Right. We need to like start doing like basic if, if Bible studies, Pat. Yeah, you know, if you're if you're following uh, God, whether you've got a Bible in front of you or not, uh, God's present through His Holy Spirit, and if you reject that. Evil desires dwell up in your, you know, well up inside of your heart. It comes from intent, yeah. from from a conscious decision that you make. I'm with you, you man. You, you you can either choose to follow the leading of the spirit, or to deny it, push it aside, whatever. Steve, I've lived both. I've lived both sides. There you go. Which side do you like the best? 
Oh, man, listen, there ain't nothing like the presence of God. There you go. Nothing like it. We have all got the riches to. in the world, all the riches in the world do not even compare to one moment in the presence of God. I'm with you. Man, we have got to get to break. I'm not trying to cut you off. I'm with you 100%. percent we yeah. look some of this right. stuff up in the we'll Bible, but guys. Harry's Bible's over here, and he's marked all the stuff out like the Ten Commandments and all that, so we just have It to- just says in the beginning, and the rest is just all gone. You know? yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to give something away. We come back, and we'll let you know what that is. More insurance services. We appreciate them, and we'll be right back. Folding a fitted sheet, programming the thermostat, matching your socks, Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your home doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like finding that missing sock. Now you can find Mounted Insurance in Murphy, a division of more insurance, just past the Arby's on Highway 64 West. See Velda Cook Dockery and Emily McKeon for a fast and accurate quote. Union General Hospital continues to make medical news across the state, and this one comes straight from the heart. Specifically, heart failure accreditation bestowed by the American College of Cardiology. Union General is one of the very few in the state of Georgia, or even nationally, to receive this exceptional recognition. Your community caregiver features the best medical practitioners in the area, a good thing to remember when it's time to make a heart-rending decision. Union General Hospital, for over 60 years, your community caregiver. I check my tires with a penny and I see all of Lincoln's head. And what's up with all of these wires sticking out of the tread? I took a little trip down to Old Blairsville, high up on the hill. Too high country, tire and wheel. Don't let them deflate on the interstate. Call 706-835-1488. High Country Tire is located right up the hill from the post office in Blairsville. They're high on quality and service, but low on prices. This is Marvin Cooper with Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, and I'm here with our office manager, Cassandra Bannister. Cassandra, Ken just called you a little bit, and it made me think about all of our friends' nicknames. Red, Piglet, Speed, Smiley, Tank, Peanut, Spud, Oompa, Dink, and Stretch. I think Tamala and I need nicknames. I once called Tamala Chinchilla. Marvin Cooper, Tamala is going to kill you. I can't believe you just said that on the radio. We are Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, Towns County's local funeral home since 1934. So how do you know your tax resolution specialist is good at what she does? It's when other CPAs call and say, Help, Debbie! I don't know how to battle the IRS like you do. North Georgia Tax Solutions just recently took over a case and saved the client $82,000. Debbie did it and continues to do it for her clients. Call Debbie Snelling at North Georgia Tax Solutions, whether it's hundreds or millions of dollars you owe. Call 706-745-3856 in Blairsville. Chris here at the Loaded Cow. A customer recently told me we've turned him into Pavlov's dog. You see, every time he hears our commercial, his mouth salivates thinking about our utterly loaded with flavor ice cream. He just has to head over to the Loaded Cow for more of our great home-churned ice cream. If the thought of delicious ice cream in a hot made-to-order waffle cone has your mouth watering, make a U-turn for the Loaded Cow on Georgia 17 between Mary Southern Grill and the Heavenly Bake Shop. The Morning Dish! Unlike the telephone company, you've got choices in the mountains for auto insurance. And when you deal with an independent agent, you've got even more. And choices mean savings. Speak with a local neighbor at More Insurance Services. All righty, we're back with you, folks. What are we giving away, Packy? We've got a gift certificate right now to s and Smoothies of Blairsville. Pat Malone's going to pull us up a trivia question. And, and uh, we got bumper stickers. Yeah, so also we got our bumper sticker contest going on right now. Come by the station and knock on the door. Wake me up. I'll probably under sleep under my desk. But wake me up, and I'll get you a bumper sticker that'll go up on the back of your car or your boat or your tractor, whatever it is. And you put that on the back, and you're automatically entered into the pot to win $97.70. You can give away two or three prizes in the next couple of weeks. There you go. And so all you got to do is have that. Stick. Yeah, so you got to put it on the back of your car. We'll get your name in the hat, and then you got to still have it on your car when you come back. Yeah, I was going to say subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Morning Dish, but after today, I don't know if we're going to be on or not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> after Chad's joke. Oh, 706-379-9770. What is the question, Pat Malone? The question is, what is the most common human eye color? The most common human eye color. Yep. A, that, what is the most column, uh, common, common human eye color? Right. Oh, there you go. 
Give us a call, 706-379-9770, when you're going to win what? We have a the choice. You can do SNS Smoothies or the Tin Roof. $15 to either one of those stores. All right, here's some more bad news for Trump, man. President Trump quietly paid off slain NYPD officer's mortgage, all while Democrat presidents were attending a woke fundraiser. Orange man, bad. Orange man, bad. Did you hear about that, Pat? I no, did. you didn't hear about that. I did. Did Oh, well, nobody's talking about that. How come? Uh, did he want that publicized? Well, if it I think he was. I think he was trying to do that privately, yeah. which I, I commend him for. Absolutely. Did you guys bring that up on your show this morning, Pat? Yeah. Or no. did you do No, it? I, we honored his request to keep yeah. that private. Yeah, don't let anybody know that Trump actually did something good again and again and again. Who we got, Pudden? Uh, we got P- Tanya this morning. Hey, Tanya, what are you doing? Tanya. Good morning. I'm on my way into work. H&R Block again. It's that time. Oh, Lord, I need to come see you, H&R Block. I don't want to pay my taxes more. Pat Malone said I didn't have to. How do I not pay my taxes? <laughs> well, we'd have to talk about that. Well, I, I'll be over after the show. All right. <laughs> What's the most common eye color? I believe it's brown. Brown? You are correct, Tanya. Yeah, really? You're a Yay. winner. Yay. There you go. I fear to be black. I know a lot of folks get black eyes, man. <laughs> no, not unless they're uh, possessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had a bunch of black, black eyes right after I got married, but then I settled down. Yeah, yeah. Every time I turn around, my wife give me another black eye. So, but what are you gonna do? Okay, anyway, well, well, you you come see me, and I'll come see you. <laughs> All right, we have got you some S and S movies or ten roofs, so you can either eat good or you can eat gooder. Which one do you like? The, okay, great. There you go. All right, we appreciate you calling. Thank you. All right. H and R Block. I couldn't. I don't. You know, that's something I don't think I could do. Just count all day. Count, 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 count. Oh, Doge is up. <laughs> is it up? Doge is up. Well, what doesn't that involve counting? Uh, no, this thing, this computer thing, does it for me. It says Doge oh, is I up. Got you. Okay. See if I can unlock this. Where we at? Oh, it's, Last I checked, it was a little down. Well, it's 20, 20 cents right now. And I've got... Almost 21. Almost 21 cents. Y'all go invest in Doge because it's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> you need a disclaimer too, man. Be careful. Uh, yes. The disclaimer is, Paggy told me to invest in Doge, and I'm passing it along to the rest of y'all out there. Just try Financial to, advice. So don't ever do anything Paggy ever tells you to do. If I get it up to like 30-something percent, then I can sell out, and I'm done. Yeah, I'm that's, done. That's something, that's something that's evil. Oh, we're Even already out of time. Dad gum it. Well, uh, shoot, who y'all got on the more, Pat? We got, we're got. we talking about the TVA tomorrow with Ashley England. I'm not sure what exactly, but we'll find out. Ask Tune in tomorrow on Monday morning. Tell them to fill the lake Ashley up. Ashley England. Fill, fill the what? lake up. Leave lake up. Tell them to fill the lake up. That's, God, that's God's job to fill the lake up. I know, but they rain. keep draining it out, man. They keep yeah. draining. Well, they need to keep the water fresh. <laughs> yeah. They get rid of the old and put in the new. All right. We want to thank more insurance services. Give them a call. Four locations, five locations. We'll be back right in the morning. W249DB and WJULAM, Iowa City. Well, look out.